Mm, thank you so much. Um, so we have two exciting positions to talk to you about if you want to come work at King County Parks. The first one is the White Center Teen Program Recreation Aid position. This takes place at Steve Cox Memorial Park. We're starting the program June 24th, running through August 20th. It's about 12 to 15 hours per week. We work Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. You do need to be 16 years old. And here's the exciting part, $16.95 an hour to start. So historically, the number one priority for the Summer Sack Lunch Team is to serve free lunches to anyone 18 and under in the White Center neighborhood. We do that at two different sites. One of those is here at the Log Cabin at Steve Cox Memorial Park. And the second site is usually out at Dick Thurnow Memorial Park. This year, it's probably gonna be running out of Cascade Middle School. Now, since we're still in the middle of COVID, most will be doing grab and go distribution. You see Michael here with the lunches all masked up and what he's doing, he's uh, distributing the lunches. The kids come through, they grab them and they go. But in addition to handing out the lunches, he and the team also make sure that they pack up recreation activities that the kids can take home. So they come up with arts and crafts, they come up with games you can play at home, they come up with STEM projects, they type up the directions, they pack all the supplies, and then they also put together YouTube videos if the, if the teens are, or I'm sorry, the children are so inclined to follow along at home. So there you have all the different recreation aid duties uh, and as well as a lot of the experience that you need. You do need to be 16. Um, we do ask that your CPR and first aid certified. If that's something you don't have, we'll get you the training. And then if it's a position you're interested in applying for, it is open now. Um, you can get application help at the log cabin any day, Tuesday through Saturday from 3 to 8 p.m. You can schedule an appointment with Jonathan by either calling or emailing. We do have that workshop coming up at 5 to 6. There's the meeting number. And just to remind you, the job closes on June 13th. You can either apply online or you can also, like I said, fill it out in person at the cabin. Shoo! I talked super fast. Hopefully I made up for that tech time, uh, but it is important for me to toss it over to Andy Bolin to talk to you about the other position with King County Parks. Hi everyone. Um, like you heard, my name is Andy Bolin. Um, I'm here to talk about the King County Parks seasonal maintenance worker position. And this position um, is a temporary position. It actually you can work up to six months a year, uh, runs from April 15th to October 15th. Um, it's currently open right now. So we're gonna keep it open until we fill all the open positions. Um, like Darlene said, you know, we do have a giant system um, with, I'm, I'm just gonna correct a little bit cause I think we've grown a little bit Darlene with 205 parks, 105 miles of regional trail. Uh, 250 miles of backcountry trails and 32,000 acres of open space. And it's just a vast system. And, you know, um, I just wanted to say, this is how I got started with King County Parks and I'm currently been with K King County Parks for 23 years. It's just a, it's a great place to work. And what, you know, got me started with this position was just the willingness to be just wanting to be outside. I enjoyed being outdoors. So I would say if you if you do like being outdoors, this could be a position you would love to to work in. Um, you know, we we currently do things from landscaping to athletic field maintenance, trail building, um, just stewarding our park lands, um, construction. Uh, you could be on a crew that could help with construction. Um, invasive weed removal, restoring and planting. We're really working towards uh, having a healthy habitat, you know, providing for the welfare of salmon, just having clean, healthy outdoor spaces. You know, um, our mission is to really, it's, it's our actual mission is to steward, enhance and acquire parks to inspire healthy communities. So, I mean, I think that's what brings a lot of joy out of this job is knowing that you're providing for the health of others to, to, to give them a safe place to play, um, to recreate, to exercise. And if you really like using equipment or learning to use equipment, um, this is a place you, you'd wanna work. 
um, at the very least, you learn how to take care of your own yards better. <laughs> just, but um, I just don't know if anybody has any questions about this position. It is an entry level position. Um, Jody, do you have the wages? It actually starts at over $23 an hour. Yeah, it was on your first screen. If you go back one page. Yeah. Gotcha. I wasn't, uh, didn't realize that. And it, and it oh, goes that's great. $7 an hour. Um, and it is, it's just a great way to see if this career is for you. Um, our full-time positions currently take like two years of experience. And this is a way I received my experience was doing some seasons with King County Parks. Um, I will say that, you know, the minimum qualifications for this job, though, is being 18 years old and having a valid driver's license. Um, so if you have those minimum qualifications and you want to work in a great outdoor job, please apply. And if, if there's any questions, are you seeing any questions in here? No, any questions for Darlene on Somerset lunch position or for Andy on the seasonal maintenance position? So I should probably run through the COVID guidelines. We are practicing extra precautions during this pandemic. Um, you know, just some of the things that we're, we're doing is we're, you know, uh, wanting extra hand washing hygiene. We offer sanitizer. We provide gloves. Um, we try to social distance where possible. Currently masks are required indoors, but luckily most of our work is outdoor. So um, you might not have to wear a mask a lot of the times you're working for King County Park. Darlene, your, um, the position you described sounds like it's pretty, pretty much running out of the same place for, uh, every time, right? Uh, well, yours, Andy, could be anywhere among those 205 parks. Ours could be anywhere amongst our system that is uh, runs from Federal Way to Vashon Island, from Woodenville to North Bend. But we do have positions that come out of SeaTac right now that take care of the White Center area. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. So you can be assigned to an area, so you don't have to go on a crazy commute. Correct. If you if you're local. Okay. Good to know. And Patrick, you're absolutely correct. Uh, all of our rec aides do report to the log cabin. Some of them move over to distribute at Cascade Middle School, but it is pretty close right down the street. Well, if we don't have any more questions in the chat, uh, we can take this minute to do a plug for the White Center team program located at Steve Cox Memorial Park. We are open Tuesday through Saturday from 3 to 8 p.m. Um, we're currently do, doing one-on-one -on -one and remote programming, and we also have a ton of Zoom programs, and we hope you're able to come and join us at some point. Uh, I will toss out, I was fortunate to start working for King County Parks at the age of 16, and I am very thankful for all the opportunities it has provided. Other questions for King County Parks on the Somerset College position or the seasonal maintenance position? And if we have parents on the line, case managers, uh, youth programmers, everyone's welcome to ask questions. And please feel, feel free to fill out <laughs> <laughs> so, to avoid some dead air, Andy, I've got another question about, so starting at 23 plus per hour, um, which is a really attractive uh, salary to be getting, uh, no matter what age you are, uh, I'm guessing that's because the work is fairly hazardous or difficult, right? It's pretty hard labor? Um, there's labor involved, obviously. Um, we are operating machinery and we're, we're around the public, right? So, I mean, we're... We're out there, we're doing customer service also. Um, you know, you, you have to be aware of, of your surroundings. And um, definitely we, we will train you to use your equipment um, well, but there are some, there is some hazardous work that we do, but we take all safety precautions possible. And Jody can attest to, she's our safety officer. 
Or yeah, and, and I didn't mean to put that in a negative light. I know that a lot of people actually prefer to get out there and work hard. Yes, definitely. But um, yeah, I mean, we, we are handling machinery and things when we're out there. So um, I will say that that's probably why our, our wages are really competitive in this field. <laughs>